So your doctor has ordered a CT scan to help with diagnosis of your condition and or treatment. You probably have several questions. What exactly is a CT scan? What will happen during your exam? What can you expect before and after your CT scan? Are there any risks or side effects? In the next few minutes, we're going to answer all of those questions and a few more that may not have even crossed your mind yet. Let's begin by describing what a CT scan is. Simply put, it is a procedure that takes several x-rays. It uses a computer to combine those x-rays into cross-sectional views, that is, three-dimensional images, of your internal organs and body parts. Imagine looking at the heel of a loaf of bread. If you peel away slice after slice, you will eventually see the center of that loaf of bread. The series of x-rays in the CT scan work much the same way. So how exactly does it work? Depending on the particular exam, you may be required to receive contrast or x-ray dye. These can be given orally or intravenously. Oral contrast, that is contrast taken by mouth, is given to highlight the bowels. It may be clear or white and is usually given 40 minutes to 2 hours before your CT scan. Intravenous contrast is given to highlight vessels. In this case, a needle is placed in your vein and a mechanical injector is used to administer the contrast. On the day of your CT scan, you will be transferred to the radiology department in a wheelchair or on a stretcher. The technologist will ask a few questions about your health, explain your exam in detail so that you know exactly what to expect, and then offer to answer any questions you may have. After that, you will be asked to sign a consent form and your exam will begin. During your exam, if you are receiving IV dye, you may feel a burning sensation in your groin, a warm flush sensation in your neck area, and you may have nausea. The sensation will pass in 45 seconds. As with all x-rays, you will be asked to stay as still as you can during your exam so that your images are as clear as possible. In some cases, sedation and or blood work may be necessary. When your CT scan is over, you will be taken back to your room, again using either a wheelchair or stretcher. Now you might be wondering if there's anything you need to do to prepare for your CT scan. First, we'll ask that you not eat or drink anything for at least four hours prior to your exam. You'll also want to be sure to notify your technologist if you're pregnant or breastfeeding. Likewise, you'll want to tell your technologist if you've had any prior reaction to an IV contrast. Just like preparing for a car trip, you may want to make a trip to the bathroom before you head to the radiology department. And if you typically take anti-anxiety medications, you may want to talk to your doctor or nurse about that as well. So what can you expect after your exam? It's really simple. You will be asked to drink several glasses of water to rid your body of the contrast. If you were given an oral contrast, you may experience diarrhea, although this will resolve itself within a couple of days. The IV contrast is flushed from the body by the kidneys within a few hours. Are there any risks? CT scans are very low risk exams, with the most common problem being a reaction to the contrast. Reactions can range from itching and hives, to respiratory symptoms, to swelling, or a life-threatening allergic reaction. While no procedure is completely risk-free, we want to remind you that CT scans are generally considered low-risk exams. So there you have it, answers to the most common questions regarding CT scans. We hope this information is helpful as you prepare for your exam. However, if you have any additional questions, Please ask your nurse to contact the radiology department and a technologist will come speak with you.